live in the hammocks community in West Kendall are relieved tonight because members of their association accused of fraud are in jail. Well, today a judge ordered office employees hired by the association to leave the premises. Now, this is a story that we have been following closely for days because it impacts so many South Florida residents. CBS 4's Yvonne Taylor was at today's hearing with homeowners and joins us live outside of the HOA. And Yvonne, what is the reaction there tonight? Naja and Elliot, I can tell you that it's a celebratory mood what prevails here today. These people are getting ready to celebrate tonight right here in front of the HOA office. Now, I'll tell you what, what you're going to see next is the judge calling the employees of this office with a cell phone and asking them to leave. So here's the instruction. There's a receiver that is appointed and they now control the hammocks. The courtroom was packed with homeowners who have asked for justice for a long time. So your employers do not work there anymore. So gather your body and leave. Meanwhile, at the hammocks. Switchco asked me to come down here and secure everything. In a matter of minutes, employees started leaving the premises in the midst of joy and scream of some of the homeowners. I feel relieved. It's been a long year. That's not all that Rosivet de Jesus said in the courtroom. And make sure that the association, that us, we're not paying for the lawyers for the criminal acts of or the board members that were arrested. Five people were arrested this week former and current board members of Hammocks Community Center, charged with stealing more than $2 million. We used to pay quarterly $280. This man was notified his house would foreclose if he would refuse to pay the increased fees for maintenance. And all of a sudden, we went to $380 a month. One of the homeowners showed the judge how the board operated. In 2021, the landscape lawn maintenance budget was 7500 which is a lot. In 2022, the proposed budget, 25000 there you have it. So when the association is removed and worst case scenario like this, they end up in jail, what happens? How would this place operate now? I'll tell you all about it at 6 p.m. Live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Ivan Taylor, CBS 4 News.